Hi friends, welcome to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Abby and today we'll be reviewing the medication nitroglycerin. We'll start with some pharmacology review, then we'll lock all of that information in by working through an NCLEX next generation style practice question together. Let's get started. All right, before we get into the details, when you hear nitroglycerin, what immediately comes to mind? Myocardial infarction or heart attack, yes. Nitroglycerin is that medication commonly given to clients experiencing an acute MI to control their chest pain. It is also commonly used to treat hypertensive emergencies, pulmonary edema, and heart failure. Now that we know what it treats, how does it work? The medication decreases the myocardial demand for oxygen, decreases preload by dilating the veins, and indirectly decreases afterload. Moving on to side effects and teaching points. The most common side effect is headaches. While they are the most common, they typically become less frequent with continued use. Other side effects include blurred vision, dizziness, weakness, flushing, nausea, and vomiting. Let's move on to teaching points. Nitroglycerin can be administered through a wide variety of methods, with the most common being sublingually or under the tongue. When administering it sublingually, it's important to educate our clients to place it under the tongue and allow it to dissolve completely. We should caution clients against sudden discontinuation and remind them that it can interact with alcohol, antihypertensives, erectile dysfunction medications, and some antidepressants. We also want to hold the medication if the client has low blood pressure as it could make it worse. Great job reviewing nitroglycerin. Let's work together through a practice question. The nurse is providing medication teaching to a client who is newly prescribed nitroglycerin. Which safety precaution should the nurse emphasize for this client? One, avoid the use of nitroglycerin and erectile dysfunction medication simultaneously. Two, store the medication in a warm, humid environment. Three, take nitroglycerin tablets with a glass of water for better absorption. Four, use nitroglycerin as a first line treatment for headaches. All right. Go ahead and press pause, make your choices, then when you're ready, press play and we'll review the answers together. Ready? Let's do this. We'll begin by reading through each answer choice and reviewing them one by one. First, avoid the use of nitroglycerin and erectile dysfunction medications simultaneously. Do you think this is a good precaution for the nurse to teach? I certainly do. We know nitroglycerin can negatively interact with alcohol and certain medications, including erectile dysfunction medications. This answer choice is looking good, but let's keep reviewing before making our final decision. Two, store the medication in a warm, humid environment. Nitroglycerin should be stored in a room temperature, dry environment away from direct light, heat, and moisture. So we can cross this option off the list. Moving on to three, Take nitroglycerin with a glass of water for better absorption. Given nitroglycerin is typically administered sublingually, it should not be swallowed with a glass of water. It should be held under the tongue until it is dissolved for best absorption. If it is an extended release tablet, it can be taken with a glass of water, but water does not enhance the absorption. Since there isn't any information on if this is sublingual or not, let's go ahead and assume that it could be, in which case we would not want to take this with water. Let's cross this one off. Last answer choice, four. Use nitroglycerin as a first line treatment for headaches. While nitroglycerin is sometimes used off-label to treat certain types of headaches, it is primarily prescribed for the relief of chest pain associated with some heart conditions, and not a first line treatment for headaches. So with that answer being incorrect, that leaves us with the correct answer being number one, avoid the use of nitroglycerin and erectile dysfunction medications simultaneously. Giving these medications at the same time could lead to severe hypotension. Great work. Here are our references. As always, thank you so much for reviewing this topic with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all Blueprint Nursing content. And check out our TikTok live study sessions, crash course, and NCLEX live study group. See you next time.